<clears throat> How are you today? It's Mary Bicknell. We are talking about five money-making activities for you to do every single day. And why is this so important? Because I know the truth is this. Uh, and I'll wait a second while a couple people pop on. If you're here, say howdy, howdy, and where you're from. And if you are watching the replay, like give me a hashtag replay, I'm from wherever. So if you don't have your notebooks ready, you're going to want to watch this again. And why are you going to want to watch this again? Because I'm laying this out for you so that you can stop being the wandering, I don't know what to do every day. And what happens when you get in that place? The problem is when you're wondering what to do every day, you make no progress. You're not making any damn progress. And so if you're not making any progress, what happens is that is feeding your mind. Hey, thanks for sharing. Yay. That is feeding you in the freak out mode. Hey, Shannon, this is making you more anxious. This is causing you to have more of those moments like, I don't know what to do with my life and my business. And so this, this particular uh, training is great for you no matter what business you are in. If you're new to me, I'm Mary Bicknell. I am a business coach and consultant for women in the mental health and wellness professions. But And if you're the face of your business, this is for you, right? I've helped thousands of entrepreneurs and businesswomen over the years. And um, these are the cornerstones. These are the things to be doing every day. It doesn't matter what kind of business you're in. This shit is the real deal for you to be doing every single day. So write this down, grab a pen, and actually one of the things I'm going to do to help you, sorry, I'm going to help you is so that you can type in. So you can always reflect back, right? So great, you can watch this over and over again. But as we go along, I will have you typing in some of the answers so that you can go back and look through the feed. So many of you, maybe you're transitioning into a different business, maybe you're growing your business, maybe you're hitting a new level, and you're getting to that point where you are, what do I do? I'm not sure what I do every day. Some of you I know, let's be real, let me be perfectly clear. This has never been a better time for women to make six figures or more. Hear me again. There has never been another time in history where women can earn a hundred grand. If you're floundering, if you're stuck, if you're feeling like, oh, if you're afraid, now's the time to work through this shit, honey. I'm telling you because there's never been a better time for women to make all the money they want, which of course translates into you're helping a ton of people. You have broken through your mental mindset stuff and it allows you to have free time. It allows you to have, um, you know, the flexibility to do what you want in life. And granted, okay, I love my business. You know, it's great. And my clients and my customers are fantastic. So these are the things that I do every day to have built this multiple six figure going on to a seven figure business. Okay. So this is the real stuff. And why I'm saying kind of setting it up like that for you is because the truth is you have to put the work in and sometimes the work is easy. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said that wrong. Well, sometimes the work is easy. Sometimes the work is simple. Sometimes the work is easy and sometimes the work is hard and the hard work comes from you pushing through your own stuff. The hard part is breaking your own patterns. Look, how many of you are like, I don't have any time. No judgment here right? You're like, I am so crazy busy. I have zero time. I want to tell you that is not the truth. There are people that are earning billions of dollars and they got the same 24 hours in a day that we do. The truth is if you're not, if you're not allowing yourself to speak the truth about your own life, this is part of your cycle of being stuck. So the truth is, <coughs> 
excuse me. The truth is without judgment, you're choosing, you are prioritizing the 24 hours a day that you have, and you're choosing to focus on something else. You're choosing to focus on something else. So these five things are going to help you kind of situate, oh, what am I focusing on? What do I need to focus on? How is this helping me make money? Ready? Okay, so hear me again. So there's no judgment if you say you're crazy busy. But recognize you saying that really what you're saying is the things that I'm doing that make me crazy busy are the priorities in my life. Don't try and argue back with me like, no, Mary, really building my business and having free time is my priority. You are a grown-ass woman. You are choosing what you got right now. So if you're sitting on the sofa watching Bravo TV, like, own it. If you are, whatever, and, and this is for business, this is for life, like anything. If you're choosing not to work out, but you feel fat, like, own it. I'm choosing to eat M&Ms, watching Netflix and Bravo TV all day, not to get my ass to the gym or work out or take a walk. The same thing with your business. Like, until you get into truth with yourself, this stuff, this ain't going to work. Now, granted, I know there's fears that come up, and we can work on that. And so you can see right here above my head, I say hashtag mini session. So put a hashtag in there, mini session. A, a couple times a week, I open up my calendar to give you a like deep coaching session. Some of you don't even know why you, I don't know why I need a coaching session. You don't even know what you don't even know. And you don't even know how, how much I can help you shift your mindset. And so for those of you who have worked with me or my clients, like, you know, you know, like you put in a, like a thumbs up. Hell yeah. That stuff changes everything. So ready? Here's number one. Who are you being? Here's your, for the five. Number one, who are you being? So all this stuff sounds like, oh, that sounds so good. Who are you being? I'm, I'm going to be the woman who makes a million dollars. That ain't, that isn't working. Start with, I'm being a woman who's taking control of my life. I am a woman who is learning how to build a six or seven figure business. I am a woman who says no to things. I am a woman who who are you being in the world? You cannot build a business <clears throat> if you're not being a woman who builds a business. You, it's so logical if we can back up a little bit. If you don't know how to build a business, you need to learn it. And part of this is being a woman committed to learning how to make money. This, all this like someday stuff. Right? Like one day I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. One day I want to make a million dollars. One day. Well, what are you doing today? Stop one day it. Stop someday it and make today the day. See, part of this is embodying who your, your beliefs. See, your thinking created your results. So when you're in like, I'm crazy busy, your thinking created this feeling like, I can't say no, created this like action. Oh shit, I signed up for this other thing. And now your results are like, you're doing stuff you don't want to do resentfully. I talk about this as far as saying a gracious yes. No, a great um a gracious no and a resentful yes, right? How many of you are resenting saying yes to shit that you don't want? You're not being a woman who feels confident saying no. Who are you being? Are you being a woman daily who has a morning routine? You get up, Maybe you work out, you listen to something that feeds your mind, you feed your body, you take care of yourself, or are you that harried woman? Like, you get up and you're just like, you're looking at your phone and you're like, oh my God, I have all this to do. And you're like screaming at the kids, come on, let's get ready, get out the door. And then you're just like eating whatever. Don't tell me you want to make a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars if you cannot even get yourself together in the morning, who are you being? That's number one. Who are you being? So there's no, this is not me like, you know, pointing the finger. If you're having any reaction to this, wow, this is about a message to yourself, right? And I say this stuff 
girls and friends because like I have to do the same stuff it's not like this one day once you make a lot of money this stuff goes away this is who you are let me give it to you this way too I used to drink I just celebrated 15 years sobriety on May 7th and so I don't say like you know I'm trying to quit drinking I used to drink it's like that's not even in my thinking anymore it's like, I'm a woman who doesn't drink. That's who I am. So I could go into a bar. Well, I don't even go into bars because, you know, but like I could go into a bar. I'm around friends who drink. It doesn't even touch me because I am solid in who I am. I am a woman building a million dollar business. I am a woman who currently, this is so radical. I'm, yeah. So rad, I am a woman, I am a CEO of a global coaching and consulting company. I have clients literally all over the world. I have companies fly me in to work with them. I work one-on-one -on -one with people. I get to, I am the regret proof life coach. I get to do life coaching with women. I get to help them build their businesses. Like I am a woman who has a fucking amazing business, but it didn't come from me going, I really want to make one day, I want to make money. Like You have to do the work. Who are you being daily? So let me give you a couple tips. Number one, when you wake up in the morning, what, do you, what are you saying to yourself? What is the belief? Remember, your thinking creates the vibration in your body, the feeling that creates the, the behavior, the action that creates the result. How do you know if you are, um, thanks for sharing. How do you know, how do you, oh, let me say it this differently. How do I get myself, this is okay. How do I get myself to believe it? Okay. So let's say you want to make for just, and this could be, apply to anything. You want to have a better relationship. You want to have more money. You want to have a better body. You want to, whatever. So you might not be able to say, I am a woman who lose, who lost 50 pounds, or I want to lose 50 pounds. So it's like, I am a woman who eats healthy every day. You could say that. Then that becomes your identity. It becomes your identity. I am a woman who, and fill in the blank. Now, maybe right now, let's just say that you're transitioning in your business, or maybe you're making five grand in your business, and you really want to make $100,000 a year, which is like almost about $9,000 a month. So instead of saying like, I'm a woman who makes $100,000 a year and then inside or in that feeling, you're getting that feeling of like, oh man, I don't really, mm, you know, it doesn't feel legit. What about I'm a woman who makes $7,500 a month? I'm a woman who makes $7,500 a month. It allows you to get into the feeling of that so your behavior shows up. Because the truth is, sometimes it crushes us. I'm not saying don't have big dreams. I'm saying build your belief on the way to those things. If I said right now, I'm a woman who makes $10 million, I'd be like, I, you know, it'd be like, Meh. like, I can't get to that place right now, right? I can't in my head, like, I am a woman building a $10 million empire. I feel like I can easily say I'm a woman building a $5 million a year empire. Like, that's solid. And when I feel solid, that other, the BS stuff goes away. I don't even think about having to deal with that BS stuff. I am on a mission, so it's easy to say no. So who are you being? The second part of this who is, who is your ideal client? Who is she? What, who is she? And I don't necessarily mean... She's 27 years old and she wants to lose 20, you know, she's a mom who needs more free time. Not that. Like, who is she intrinsically? And because your job is to help her, if you're in this transformation business, which I guess if you're watching me, you probably are. If you're helping her transform, who is she now? Just like, who are you now? And what belief do you need to have to get to where you want to go? The same with you, with her. Who is she now? Who is she now? Is she a woman who wants to make more money? Is she a woman who wants to have a better relationship? Uh, and she feels stuck and she's just like, I hate men. Is she a woman who needs to lose 30 pounds? Is she a woman who, you know, wants to be a better mom? And she feels like, I'm so tired. I don't know why I can't get my kid to do whatever. Like, who is she now? And then part two is, what does she want? Do you know who your ideal client is today and what she wants. 
So part two is what does your ideal client want? What does your ideal client? This is the money making shit. I know like I'm giving this to you. Like, who are you? Who is she? What are they? Like, if you don't know this stuff, if you don't know this, you will never make money and you have to be connected daily to this. So not only do you have to be at who am I every day, you need to say, who is my client? Because you need to be talking to someone in your mind's eye. You need to have that ideal client, like a picture. Like I've told clients of mine, like here's my camera right on my computer. I'm like, put a picture or a name of your ideal client right there so that you feel like you're talking directly to her. Because sometimes it feels like, oh my God, you know, it's like, oh, these people all on the internet. No, pick, pick, like identify with one person. What does she want? What does she want? Next, ready? Again, every day. So what does this look like in practice? Let me get it like that. Who am I? So you wake up, you're really connected with your goals, your mission, your business. And then maybe you get to your computer, right? And so it's like, who am I working with today? Who can I touch today? Who can I be of service today? Who needs me today? When you can come at that, you know, I know I talk all about making money, but when you can be like, who is needing me today? Who's needing me today? And what does she need? What does she want? When you come at your computer or you go network or you go, you know, speak wherever you're going to speak, or you go to your mom's group, or you go to yoga, when you can be aware of who you are, who you believe you to be, who, who you believe you're becoming, and you can know who your ideal client is, you know, it's become so much easier to say, hi, I'm, I'm a coach. Like if you have an embodied, like if, this, if coaching is your thing, or whatever your title is that you're moving toward, if you haven't embodied that, once you can embody that and you know who you can help and what they want, it's so easy to talk to everybody. And part of you talking to everybody is to solidify who you are in the world as far as your business goes. So when I'm out and about and I'm like, well, I own a coaching and consulting company and I help women get unstuck, create the life that they want and feel like a fucking rock star. It is easy. For me to say that to like anybody. And remember, the more I say it, your words have power. The more I own it, the same with you. If you're not, I have to, let me tell you, I'm going to give you a little insight and then we'll move on to number three. I have had clients who literally never get out from behind their computer. Now, granted, if you want to master the online space, I like, I totally jive with you. Like, look, you know, I have mastered speaking live and make a shit ton of money that way. I have mastered the online space and I'm, I'm perfecting it. Like I've mastered making money and I'm perfecting it so that it is a better money generating machine. That's what you want. You want to build a money making machine. That's, that's what your business is. Anyhow, I'm like, when is the last time you've ever talked to a live human being? Because you know what? This isn't easy if you haven't gone out into the world and perfected and worked on saying, Hi, I am Sally Sue. I am a life coach. Hi, I'm Sally Sue. I am a weight loss coach. Hi, I'm Sally Sue. I'm a relationship coach. Hi, I'm Sally Sue. And maybe you don't even want to call yourself whatever it is. You just want to embody how you help people. Hi, I'm Sally Sue. I help women have better relationships so they aren't losing their fucking mind. Hi, I help women who have kids with special needs find themselves again. Like, who are you helping? What does she want? Say the words. Okay. So anyhow, one of my clients, like I said, she was like, Sitting behind our computer, I'm like, go talk to anyone. I don't care. Go find, and so this is part of what you're going to be doing is, is go talk to at least five people every single day. And I mean, not just like, hi, I'm on Facebook. Like, show up, interacting, communication. Then go to, go somewhere. Look, if you want to have a business, this isn't about just like you spending two hours a week, three hours a week. And if that's the kind of business you want, that will work, but it's going to take you a while. If you want to master this more quickly, you need to be like, give up your damn, like whatever leisurely, whatever kind of time that you're investing. 
right? What are you doing? Okay, ready? When, so this is number three, right? When are you marketing? When are you selling? If you don't have that on your calendar, when you're doing something, it won't happen. When are you getting up? When are you writing your goals out? When are you saying your like beliefs about yourself? When are you talking to a live human being? When are you selling? When are you going to work with people? The other day I had a brand new client and I said, okay, blah, 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 blah. And we did this kind of what we're doing right now. And I was like, okay, when are you going to go talk to people? And she's like, oh, I can go do this. I can do that. Okay. I'm, I'm, you're talking to me and I'm like, oh my God, that sounds so good. Oh my God. When can we get together? When can we start? And she was like, well, I, you know, I was like, what are you going to tell me? And she's like, well, I'm, I, I haven't gotten, I, I'll get back to you when I know when I'm going to do it. That is not the answer. You never say, I'm going to tell you a never here, right? And I try not to be in like all or nothings. Never tell another human being, oh, I'll get back to you one day. No. You might say like, oh, you know what? Let's double check our calendar or let's set up a time to chat and take this a little further. Or better is, you know what? I have um, Thursday evenings open at five o'clock. Or even better than that would be like, I have Thursday evening at 5 or Saturday morning at 10.30. Which one works better for you? Give two options. Just like you do your children. Do you want to have broccoli or do you want to have spinach? You always offer two, two, two things. Either one is perfect for you. This is all about you building, you designing your lifestyle and building it around you. Maybe you don't want to have a client at 5 o'clock. I don't know. Put it on the calendar. When are you going to sell someone? When are you going to work with people? Look, if you, once you identify who you are, this is the daily stuff, what your real mission is in your world, who your ideal client is, what she wants, you need to know when you're going to provide it. If you don't have this tight on your calendar, what you're doing is saying, I don't want a business. I don't want a business. I should be able to call you up right now or click on Facebook and just show up in Messenger. Hi. And you should be able to be like, bam. If you don't, what's the resistance coming up? What's the resistance? So when I say, when are you marketing? Look on your calendar. Are you on Facebook? Are you emailing your client? P prospects. Are you building an email list? That's a whole other conversation. You need that. Are you networking? Are you making it a practice every day to go talk to people? every day. Not like once a week I go to this Friday morning 7 a.m. Chamber of Commerce thing. No. No. Unless you're choosing to allow your business to grow at that rate. Don't come at it like, oh my God, I can't grow my business. And I say, well, how often are you talking to live human beings? Oh God, I'm so busy. And I go, you know, maybe once a week to this Chamber of Commerce thing on Fridays then why do you think that you're going to be building a six or multiple six-figure business? Look, no one's coming to save you, sister. No one's coming to save you. Not even me. I got a lot of answers, but you got to put feet to the floor, jump through the fire, burn the boat, like whatever. So if you hear me just being like, ah, today, like, mm, this is how I am. Because I want for you, because it's so possible, it's so legit possible for you to make all the freaking money that would make you want to jump out of bed every day. Want to say, hell no, I'm not doing that thing. I'm not going to say yes to my mom again. I don't want to have Sunday dinner with my mom every damn week. Like, like decide you got one chance. Here it is. This is called your life. There is no reason... Everyone who's watching this can't make as much money as they want. There's no reason that you can't make $100,000 a year and be able to do it weaving in a beautiful life. I don't mean $100,000 a year like working 90 hours a week, but maybe it's going to take a lot of hours on the front end while you're building your money-making machine. One of my coaches... Kristen Thompson, thank you. This was like the, one of the best things that she ever said to me. And this has stuck with me all these years. She said, what you're building 
is something that will create money whenever you flip the switch. I have never forgotten that. I should, I should, I'm going to post in here and thank you, Kristen. And I know, cause I always was like, I want to be in machine mode while I'm working. I'm going to be building machine. And she's like, you're flipping. you like, you want to build the thing that anytime you want, you flip a switch and you make money. Not, I got to go to a job. And if I don't go to a job with my asshole boss, tell me what to do. I don't make any money. Be, there's no reason that you can't make money. And I mean, let me tell you, there are people making money by just going to the thrift store and buying stuff and then posting that shit on eBay. I swear to God. So I go to the thrift store sometimes because I like buying weirdo clothes sometimes or, or like funky sweaters or like cashmere. And then I'll make a pill. I'll like wash it and felt it. But you know, that's just me on the side. And I see these people and they're walking around with their phone looking stuff up. I go up to them. I love doing that. Oh my God. Are you one of those people on the internet? that makes money selling stuff on whatever, like Shopify, eBay, like all this stuff, right? Like there is no reason that you are working for someone and you hate it. There is no reason you are, should be hating your life. It's your thinking. It's your thinking, creating your results. Your mind created the results of, I hate my life. This is a shitty job. I am so stuck. Your thinking created that. Your thinking created that 50 extra pounds. Your thinking put you in that shitty relationship. Your thinking is the thing that created the, oh my God, I'm stuck. If that is truth, bold truth, your thinking can get you out of it. You may have fear. Oh my God, I'm afraid of failure to... What your life is already not like you want it. So what do you got to lose? Like go for it. Like your fucking hair is on fire because who cares at the end of the day, are you sitting around judging everybody? Like, Oh my God. And you're just like sitting around all day long thinking about somebody else who just posted something on online. And can you believe that she's talking about making money? Like, at the end of the day, do, do you fucking even care what that person says or thinks? You have, because are you doing that? We get so caught up in fear of failure, fear of judgment. Judgment is the, fear of judgment is the number one thing. Why? Because we are women. We're conditioned to have community and we don't want rejection. I get it. But if you're not being the real you showing up, who are you though? If you're not showing up as the real you, the relationships that you're drawing into your life are actually false relationships because you're not being really you. You're not being the authentic you. If you're not being the authentic you, the stuff that you're bringing into your life ain't real. I remember my ex-boyfriend before John. Bad relationship. Let me just say bad with a capital B. Man, I dummied way down. <laughs> like I dummied down. I acted stupid. I mean, like literally that I could just, I could outthink this person and like run circles around him. And so I pretended I was dumb. Like so many times I didn't speak up. And so what happens, right? It's like, that wasn't the real me. No wonder I was showing up not being the real me. So what did I bring into my life? Number four, where, where is your client daily? Where is she hanging out? Right? Where is she hanging out? Is she hanging out online? Is she hanging out on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, networking, mom's group, yoga studio? Where is she? See, when you understand where she is, it makes it real easy to figure out where to put you showing up on the calendar, right? Perfect sense. See how logical this is? Who, what, when, where, and why? This is the big deal. Why is she choosing you? Right? Why is she choosing you? Most of you who are watching this, and I know because I target you, okay? You're not random watching this stuff. I'm letting you know. If I've targeted you and you're in my world, it's because I have Facebook. You've found me on a Facebook ad. You've seen me speak live. So I've targeted you. I've targeted you specifically because I know you got the chops and you can bring it. 
you might not know how, so of course you want to hire me as your business consultant or coach, or you want to be in one of my programs, or maybe you've seen me speak and you want to hire me as your regret proof life coach because I really work on mindset and you know you're stuck and you need that. So you have to think, why is your ideal client choosing you? And this is why. She doesn't care what you call yourself. She doesn't care what you look like. She, none of that stuff. What she cares about is the solution that you have to offer that only you can offer and do it in a way only you. Because I know some of you are like, well, there's other coaches out there. There's other therapists out there. There's other mindset gurus out there. There's other nutritionists out there. There's other chiropractors out there. There's other executives out there. Why would I get hired or why would she, why would people pay me money? It's the same thing. I work with executives who want to move up the corporate ladder and they're like, why should I get hired? Okay. What does your boss want from you? Like, how do you, who do you need to be to like become the vice president of the company. There's no different. Who do you need to be to make a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars in your business? What you need to know is what your boss or your ideal client wants. What do they want and how can you provide it? Right? So why, so it's back to what does she want, right? She wants a solution to her problem. That goes to who is she? Who is she? Right? Who is she and what's her problem? So why is she choosing you? She's choosing you because you're saying, I have a solution, Sally Sue. When you have a solid offer plus solid benefits to equal solid results, that's where you're making the money. Right? If you have a solid offer that equals solid result, or excuse me, solid benefits, right? Solution that gives somebody a solid result. That's a, that's your money maker. That's your money making machine. If you know that the process that you could walk somebody through can help them get to the other side of the river. Like, think about this. This is one of the things I teach in my sales conversations. If you're standing with your ideal client, and you're helping her see across the river. There you are, Sally Sue. That's you in the future. I'm going to help you navigate crossing this river of like freak out. How am I going to do this? How am I going to lose weight? How am I going to have a better relationship? How am I going to end my marriage? How am I going to get the, the, the um, promotion? How, okay. Together, we're going to walk over these stones to the other side. We're going to build the, br I've got the bridge. I can walk it, whatever, like whatever metaphor. If when you have the slu she don't care what you call yourself. She didn't care. Like, hi, should I say I'm a transformational coach? Should I call myself a life coach? Should I call my the nobody cares? Nobody cares. Just like nobody cares where you got all your credentials, whether you have 59 certificates or one. People buy solutions. What is your solution? Oh, <sighs> Look, I am so pumped for you. I am like on a, like, I'm in this jump up and down place right in here. Next time I'm going to have my desk raised because I feel like moving around. <laughs> because your opportunities are endless right now. Take advantage of them. Get a mini session. You want a mindset breakthrough? Look, I'm on a, I'm on a roll. I'm going to bring it. Be prepared to be made to feel uncomfortable. We're going to shine like some big ass spotlights. And if you decide ultimately you want to be a private client because you want some life coaching, you want some mindset coaching, you want some transformational coaching, or you want some support in your business, book a mini session. If we end up deciding to work together, fine. If not, I know that it's going to be radical. This is what you need to do in return. I'm going to record those calls. I'm going to record those calls. So if you're kind of nervous about that, I'm going to record those calls because I'm going to use those calls for coaching to teach some of my therapists and mental health wellness professionals who want to learn how to coach so that they can see the process. See the process. So that program's coming out this fall, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave it for me. You know, any comments? Um, I want you to type in 
Ready? Go ahead and type this in now for yourself. Who? Who am I being? Who is she? What? And type this in the comments, right? What does she want? When? When are you going to sell, market, and show up? Where? Where is your ideal client daily? Daily. And why is she choosing you? And please, let's not get into like, I don't know why she would choose me. I don't know why. you Look, if you're watching this, you're in a demographic that's 35 and older, and you have years of experience under your belt. You saying, I'm confused. You saying, I don't know. That is a lie you're telling yourself to keep yourself straight, to keep yourself safe. Sit down. Come up with three solutions today to help your ideal client. Put something on the calendar when you can serve them. Pick a number to charge them. And write down who you are and who you want to be. So I'd love to spend the rest of the day with you. I'm headed out to go hiking with my family please feel free to book a session or put in their hashtag mini session. I will send you my personal calendar specifically for mini sessions. These are 30 minute sessions. We get a lot of stuff done in 30 minutes. And um, if you have any questions about your business, make sure that you are in one of my two groups and I'll put the link somewhere over my head below me. Go make it a great day and know this bold truth. You can truly make six figures, multiple six figures in the way the world is designed today. 100%. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.